the pattern calls to cast on 17 stitches with the chain stitch. If you feel more comfortable with another casting method, please go ahead and use that. I just went ahead and made a slip knot. Place your slip knot on the 17th peg. In this case, I marked it with the stitch marker. And place your working yarn towards the center of the knitting loom. This other end is the tail end, so ignore that one. So go ahead and with, cro you, with your crochet hook, hook the working yarn and make a little loop, like so. Place that loop on the next peg. Now, with your crochet hook, go in that second loop and hook your working yarn and place it on the third peg. Get that yarn tail end from away from there. Now insert it on the third and place it on the fourth peg. And continue like this until you reach the first peg. Once you've reached the first peg, place your last loop that you created on that first peg and your working yarn will be at the first peg and ready for you to begin your first row. If you're doing color changes you will have been doing this with your color A or one of your two main colors. I am going to do the example with just one color. Uh, so I'm still with color A. I will let you know when you can when you will need to change to your color B. Okay, so row one it says to knit the entire row so you will knit from peg one all the way to peg 17. So go ahead and knit those stitches. As you notice I am not skipping the first peg Go ahead and knit the, all the way down to the end of the row. Okay, once we've reached the last peg, we're ready for row number two. So go ahead and purl row number two. You will be purling all the way from peg 17 back to peg 1. Once you reach peg 1, purl it 2, and we're ready for row number 3. Over here is where you will change to your other color, to your secondary color or B color. And what we're going to do is we're going to knit to the last three stitches. So we're going to knit from peg 1 all the way to peg 14. And we're going to leave the last three stitches unworked. That is what is called a short row, where you are, knit, you are only knitting part way through the row. So let's go ahead and knit from peg 1 to peg 14. Okay, 